Hi everyone, James here from Linode. I'm here in the uh, beautiful but slightly tropical Miami uh, for the Acronis CyberFit Summit. Uh, I've been wandering around, learning lots, uh, having lots of great chats, and I stumbled into the, uh, the something of a PSA guru, Chris Tim. Chris, how are you doing? Do you want to give us a quick intro? Let us know who, it, who you are and what you do. Hey James, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, my name's Chris Tim. I'm a, a PSA consultant, ex-MSP business owner, um, and I help MSPs to get the best out of uh, out of Order Task and, and PSA tools. And uh, I'm a published author, wrote the book on PSA profitability. Fantastic, thank you for joining me. This has been one of the more crazy interviews you'll probably ever do in the fact that we've been running in and out <laughs> trying to hide from the, the storm that may or may not blow us away. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's one of those uh, one of those days it's raining really hard. I, I was told Miami was this warm place and I come here and it's like being in the UK. So yeah, we've absolutely been missold. <laughs> So moving on then, I'd love to pick your brain. So obviously you've got a wealth of knowledge to tell us about sort of PSAs and, and how to enhance profit, profitability. In this short video, do you mind just giving us a few tips that MSPs can take away and maybe action straight away that will improve their profitability within their business? Yeah, sure. So, so the first one I would say is absolutely make sure you get all the costs into the PSA. So things like the cost of the services that you're selling, so Microsoft 365, those kind of things. Make sure those costs are in the system. Um, the, the other tip I would give is to make sure that the, um, the, the cost of your engineers is in the system as well. So making sure you've got that burden rate entered in. Um, that way when you start to log time against the ticket, you can actually um, uh, you know, see how much that, that engineer's time is costing. And that's ultimately going to help you with, um, with profitability. And then tip number three is, you know, it's all very well getting all these costs into the system. Um, but obviously now you need to put in whatever the price that you're selling it at and making sure that those prices, your sell price and your cost price are adjusted um, accordingly. So every time Microsoft increases or decreases the price of Microsoft 365 licenses, make sure you go into your PSA and adjust that accordingly. Likewise, make sure that you're always adjusting the price of the um, in, or the cost of the engineer so that every time um, you know, they're getting a pay rise or something like that. You're putting their burden rate into the system. And that way, all the tasks would then be able to work out what all of your revenue is once you've built everything through the system, what the revenue is minus all of those costs, and that's going to give you your profitability. That's fantastic. So, um, so in terms of sort of, in terms of the first things that, uh, that, that an MSP should think about then, is that, is that what you'd say? They're, they are the first steps? Uh, certainly from a profitability perspective. Right. Um, so, you know, in order to get yourself to a point where you, um, you know, where you're getting all that profitability information out, so you want to know who your most profitable or least profitable customer is, you need to have that stuff entered into the system. Um, and obviously, you need to make sure then that you're billing through the PSA as well, right? So that you're actually um, running those invoices through the PSA system and then pushing those into your, um, your accounting tool, whatever that accounting tool is that you use. And so, once you've got all this information in the PSA, I have to ask then, what's, what are the useful reports? That, I should point out, by the way, PSA, Professional Services Automation Tool. Yeah. So, what are, the, what are the reports that you want to be looking at then? If you're just, you're just starting out, you've just got these basic costs in, you're not going full-blown yet, what are the kind of reports and the sort of the things that you should have on there? What are the key things you should look for straight away? Well, certainly the key ones that most PSA tools will give you is, um, uh, you know, who your most profitable customer is, who your least profitable customer is, um, and then, you know, your highest revenue earner so and, and your lowest revenue earner. And, and it's always interesting to run those reports because very often your highest revenue earner is not necessarily always your most profitable. So those are the kinds of reports I would definitely recommend that somebody runs. And most PSA tools are going to give you the ability to do that. And at that point, you've got some decisions to make, right? So if you've got some customers that perhaps aren't earning you what you'd expect or you're investing too much time in them, then you've got some decisions. And likewise, if you have some more profitable customers, then you invest more time in, in kind of nurturing those. Yeah, I mean, and those reports are going to give you that information, right? So if you've got the cost of the engineer, you know, you might have one of your most expensive engineers always doing the work for that particular customer. So that's going to give you the decision to make to say, well, do I always keep using that more expensive engineer or do I need to use a, a less expensive engineer? Or do I get that expensive engineer to just do less time, less less hours with that customer? So you, yeah, so those are the kinds of decisions you, you, can, you can make with those kinds of reports. Brilliant. The main thing is that get that information in there so you've got the information to work with and then you can make some decisions based on that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you have no costs in the system, then obviously the reports are going to show 100% profitable. Yeah. Right? Because there's there's nothing for it to base um, all that profitability on, right? Because it's going to just look at revenue minus costs. And if the costs are all zero, then 
100% profitability. Yeah, you'd be something in denial, wouldn't you? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so it's obviously a huge topic and we've just literally skimmed the surface. Can you uh, let our audience know, if they'd like to know more about how to get the most out of their PSA tool, uh, how to contact you, what sort of services you offer personally? Yep. So um, I'm on all the socials, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter. Um, you can also contact me directly from um, either psaprofitability.com, uh, which is the, the book that I wrote, or um, via sundelaconsulting.com. Brilliant. Chris, pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Hopefully we can do it again, maybe a, a longer webinar or something along those lines in the future soon. Yeah, I'd love that. Thanks thanks for having me and uh, we'd better get back inside before we get blown away. Yeah, let's do that while we're safe. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye.